Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, we are talking about secret features of iOS 11. Of course, you might have iOS 11 installed right now on your device as it has just been released, but there are a lot of features that are secret and you probably won't notice them even if you have iOS, in iOS 11 installed on your device for a longer period of time. So let's get started with top 10 secrets of iOS 11. The first one is a feature of the camera app. If you're trying to take an overhead view picture of an object, it will show you these two plus signs right here. So you will have to match them together in order to level your iPhone perfectly and get the perfect angle here on an overhead view picture like this one. So you just match the plus signs like this and you get a perfect picture from the overhead view from the camera app of iOS 11. There is another hidden feature now on the camera app. Now the camera app of iOS 11 supports QR codes so you can scan QR codes right off the camera app on iOS 11. So we are all used to talk to Siri, but now on iOS 11, you can also type to Siri. So you can see here, if I launch Siri, I can go ahead and type to Siri here. It will show me the keyboard and you can enable that feature by going to settings, go to general, then go to accessibility, scroll down here to Siri and enable here, type to Siri and you can type instead of speaking to Siri. The iOS 11 Notes app now allows you to scan documents. So all you have to do is just tap this plus sign right there and then just tap this smaller plus sign there and you can go ahead and scan documents. Just tap there and as easy as that, you can see here, you can scan documents even though this one is very close for me to scan. Let me just scan that picture right there. Okay, so you can see here, it will find the document. You can crop it here. So click keep scan and then it will scan that document or picture just like that and save it on the notes app on safari on ios 11 now there is a feature which allows you to save web pages as pdf files so if you tap the share button right there you can go ahead and scroll all the way here from the right to the left and you can see here a button that says create PDF and then it will create the PDF file as you can see it right here and you can go ahead and save it on your device or you can save it on your iCloud. You can also tap here if you want to mark up something or edit something here on the PDF file. On the Photos app on iOS 11 there is a secret feature that allows you to drag and drop photos between, between albums. So you tap one of them just like this and then you can tap the others and then you can go ahead and just tap back here, go to albums and you can go ahead and drop it on another album just like that. On iOS 11, you can also use the Photos app to create custom watch faces for your Apple Watch. So you tap here the share button and then all you have to do is just scroll here and you can see here create custom watch face. So you tap there. And it gives you two different options here to create a watch face. So you pick one of them and then you can customize the colors of the clock here, the date, and you can customize all the kind of information that shows on, this, on the watch face that you create using your pictures. On iOS 11, you can also move multiple apps at the same time. This is a very welcome feature of iOS 11. So you want to drag one app and you do it like this but if you want to have more you just go ahead and tap on them just like that and you can see they will be here together on a group you go to the other page and you just drop them just like that the new control center of ios 11 is probably the most improved section of ios from ios 10 to ios 11. now on the flashlight here you can go ahead and tap on it and it will show you these levels so we have this using force touch on other devices on newer devices on ios 10 but now we have four levels on force touch we had only three now we have four levels of the flash that you can enable here from the control center if you want to be careful with battery drain and using your cellular data then you will have to keep track 
of the background activity of your apps. So on background app refresh on iOS 11, now you have more choices. So if you go to settings, go to general, go to background app refresh, go here, you can turn it off, but now you will also have the option to turn it on only while you're connected to Wi-Fi or with Wi-Fi and cellular data. But if you want to preserve your cellular data, you can go ahead and choose only Wi-Fi. So that's it for this video, guys. These are 10 secret features of iOS 11, which is probably very, very hard to notice once you install iOS 11. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 11 videos. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.